Welcome to a SIM code. Looking for more coding tutorials? Hit like, subscribe, and let's keep building your skills. This C program uses system calls to gather and display various pieces of system information. It includes the necessary headers for I.O. operations, system utilities, and Linux-specific system info gathering. The main function initializes a character array CWD to store the current working directory and a sysinfo structure SI to hold system stats. It then uses getcud to retrieve the current directory path, sysinfo to get system statistics, and prints out the user ID, effective user ID, current directory, total and free RAM and megabytes, number of running processes, the current processes ID, and its parent processes ID. The code is designed for educational purposes or for quick system status checks, but it's noteworthy that it's tailored specifically for Linux due to the sysinfo call. Standard I.O. library for functions like printf which handle input-output operations. p Operating System API Contains utility functions that include process control, file system operations. Contains definitions for data types used by system calls and library functions. Header for sysinfo, which provides system stats. This is Linux specific. CWD is a character array, string, to store the current working directory path. We initialize it to zero to ensure any excess space is null terminated. The size 100 is somewhat arbitrary but should suffice for most directory paths. SI is an instance of the sysinfo structure, which will hold system information. Like memory stats, number of processes, system uptime, etc. GetCud system call retrieves the current working directory. It fills CWD with this path. Size of CWD ensures we don't exceed buffer size. Sysinfo system call populates SI with system data. The end operator provides the address of SI where the data should be written. Note, this function is Linux-specific, so this program would not work on other OS. Getuid returns the real user ID of the user who owns the process. This ID is used for permission checks. Gitud returns the effective user ID, which might be different from the real user ID if the process has escalated privileges. Display the current working directory path we've stored in CWD.
convert total RAM from bytes to megabytes. Aside.totalram gives us bytes, so we divide by 1024 twice, since 1 megabyte equals 1024. KB is equal to 1024 times 1024 bytes. Similar calculation for free RAM. Aside.free RAM is in bytes, so we convert it to megabytes for human readability. Display the number of processes currently running on the system. Fetch from si.prox in the sysinfo structure. DitPid gives the current process's ID, which is unique for each process running on the system. DitPid returns the ID of the parent process. This helps in tracing back the process tree showing who started this program. Return zero to indicate successful execution of the program. Before we dive back in, I want to hear from you. If you're loving these tutorials, drop a like and hit that subscribe button. It only takes a second, but it helps you stay connected with this community. And hey, don't forget to comment below with what you want to see next. Your feedback helps shape future content.